met the ranchers around here? What did they think about this? About well, all the uh, people the coming rancher, down here? Well, the, there's only one rancher, and he doesn't have much to say. The only thing that really hurts him is when somebody hits a cow. A cow. I mean, that really hurts him in the pocketbook. A couple people have hit cows around here and then, and then fled. It's happened a couple times. We're headed back down Groom Road again, this time with someone who knows the terrain. I can monitor the security channel, but it's scrambled most of the time. How did you first discover the motion sensors? Just by stumbling over one. A friend of mine stumbled upon one by mistake. Once we found one, then we could run over it a few times and, and analyze the signal, use the frequency camera to find out what frequency we're talking about. And we were able to detect all of them. You see a little, there's a little bar graph at the bottom. You don't see it now, but when signal goes off, you see a little pulse in the bottom. There was one. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Pulse? There was a pulse, yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, ah. Offended, boy, am I offended at that. What? Uh, sensor, I'm offended. Uh, oh. Of <laughs> course. The first sensor, or is there another one back there that we There's five on this road. We passed a couple. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you, if you want to get by and you don't want to be detected, the proper method is not, we used to disconnect the antenna, but that's not the approved method. The approved, the approved method is to disconnect the power. Like that, and then you drive by and then you reconnect it again and they won't know you're here. Glenn Campbell's on a mission, but it's not about UFOs. Well, my, my position is a government secrecy. I'm interested in the UFOs, but to get to the UFOs, you have to go through government secrecy. And Campbell loves to make things difficult for those who hold the secrets. Silhouetted against the sky on the right. We will watch from here, and if anybody follows them in, well, then we gotta do what we gotta do. He leads field trips to the only points from where Groom Lake can still be seen Whitesides Mountain and Freedom Ridge. So, who discovered that you could see it from Freedom Ridge? You did? I did. I named, I named it. How long ago was that? That was June 30th, 1993. It stretches out across the valley here, that's the Groom Boulevard that heads into the base from Highway 375. And uh, twice a day, uh, there's a white bus that has blacked out windows that picks up workers. In the morning, it picks them up about 7 o'clock over uh, at the junction of Highway uh, 375 and 93. And it brings them in here, takes them into Area 51 where they work, and then at 4 o'clock, it reverses its track and brings them back out and drops them back off out there. Uh, it's at the ruins of an old uh, gambling casino there at the intersection. But uh, it's a regular daily bus trip that comes out here five days a week. I made it! Not yet. Good, good, Mike. It's beautiful up here. Look at this view. There it is, Room Lake. We find ourselves on Freedom Ridge, overlooking the Groom Lake facility here, Area 51, Dreamland, where we kind of sequester ourselves on the uh, opposite side of the ridge a little bit so that the spotters can't see what we're up to. But we are being observed uh, by cameras as well as uh, human individuals with uh, high-powered scopes, so we're trying to play it pretty cool up here. But this is the place. This must be the place. Yeah, oh, dreamland. This is where the military um, developed all its secret spy planes, and so it's not surprising that if they are working on some sort of uh, alien technology as well, that that's the place where it would be. Another what? Beagle's coming. From the Oh, yeah. There it is. Coming down the road from the guardhouse. About 60 miles an hour. He, came, he went off the road. He turned. 